Hey, what is up guys? So I got something super fan service for you guys. It is a new Dark Magician deck and it's going to be facing off against Cyframes. Now, there's a lot of actual really strong support for Dark Magician. If you guys didn't know, they are actually getting more support for this uh, little normal guy. Plus, he got a reprint uh, and he got alternate artwork. The reprint's not going to really matter. It's not like Dark Magician confirmed for a $100 card, but they reprinted it in the OCD and it's got some pretty sweet artwork. But anyways, Cyframes is a pretty cool archetype. I like the mechanic of, oh, I don't have any cards. Psych, you do something, negate it. And then you get to go ahead and uh, psych them out, you know, with them psychics. A pretty cool archetype, but for the most part... Uh, I don't even know who wins this duel, but uh, like uh, like I was going to say, for the most part, Dark Magician, it's got some crazy support once you guys see some of the newer cards here. They have basically Judgment Dragon effect, but even better, just destroy all cards your opponent controls. Man, this guy's looking pretty good. Doom Cow, I haven't seen this guy in a long time. This guy, uh, he actually hurts a lot of the times uh, the player that has him because uh, the way Yu-Gi-Oh has gotten it's gotten so fast with all the hand traps and stuff you can get rid of Doom Cow relatively quick and of course this card is a normal so it can just run over Doom Cow plus uh, obviously uh, with all the side frames the chaining it's gonna Doom Cow actually negate his own card you get Rectoroni and Riceroni I remember a lot of uh, players when Doom Cow got reprinted they were so excited to play it and then like they're like you know this card's not even good anymore <laughs> the game just kind of got way too fast but uh, anyways uh, interesting to see him even playing Thousand Knives because this card Dark Burning Magic. If you control monsters whose original names are Dark Magician uh, and Dark Magician Girl, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. It's like Judgment Dragon, but better because you don't destroy anything you have. I know most of the time Judgment Dragon gets his effect and you're not destroying out anything anyways, but uh, pretty sweet stuff that you're able to search like, you know, all these cards from the side frames and like, this guy's holding up. Like, he's got no cards on the field. He just keeps on uh, just summoning monsters free uh, defense over here and then on top of that with the card Psychic Field Zone, it's actually pretty good. But he ends up busting out a Draco Sack and this card, I feel like this card is a little bit broken, honestly. It's just like, you know, once per turn, just keep on bringing back a Dark Magician, keep on going for rank 7s. But the thing is, when you compare it to, you know, what's in the game right now, uh, in the OCG, especially the Magician Performer Pals, uh, you know, this card, it just might not even be that good enough. And you get a level 7 monster every freaking turn. And if you have, like, uh, you know, the ability just to, like, summon level 7s relatively easy, you can just keep on making rank 7s. Big Eye is still a very strong card in the game. But uh, nonetheless, he's going to go ahead and have that Omega attack over the token. Draco Sack is exposed now, and he's going to go ahead and activate that effect. Then he's going to activate Overload and finally get rid of this card. Uh, he needed to get rid of that card. It literally just brings back Dark Magician over and over. And there's Sage of Stone. So you activate only if you control a face-up Dark Magician girl, and you get to special one Dark Magician from your hand or deck. That's, that's a pretty good effect. Obviously, this card... Uh, I think this card was the card that counted as Dark Magician Girl at that time. But uh, you can see you can pull off this card, I would say, relatively easy the deck. But uh, the only problem that I can see right now is, like, after you activate this, I don't really know if Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl alone can pull off the OTK. Maybe there's some new support card that will support it. I know there's a bunch of equips for spellcasters. I know Wonder Wong can help you maybe with draw power and stuff like that. But uh, anyways, he goes ahead and uh, still has that Omega. That card it just keeps on coming back over. Oh, he's got the Dark Magician Girl. He's going to tribute, get rid of the uh, field spell. Then he's going to bring back Dark Magician. Swing of Memories activated to bring out another Dark Magician. Is this finally going to be game? Is it finally game? It is finally game. Wow. That was a ton of turns. I know she only gave 300 attack here, but uh, that was really, really cool. He didn't get to use this because uh, he didn't need it, but he could have activated it. So that was really cool showing off like the new support. Um, I, I think I've shown off that uh, spot, uh, that trap card that keeps on bringing back Dark Magician. That was like their best card, but I haven't shown off this card over here, which is the Dark Burning Magic. I don't know how relevant it is going to be to actually pull this card off because you're, you're, it's, it's a little bit difficult to get out the Dark Magician Girl, I would say. I know you can get a card that counts as it, but this says whose original name, so I don't think that this card would actually count. I know there's another card where it's like if you uh, control Dark Magician, you summon another Dark Magician. That's actually really strong because it lets you go into rank 7, and then you can immediately bring it back as soon as your opponent's uh, turn starts because you're going to detach with like Big Eye or Draco Sack or whatever uh, rank 7 that you decide to make. But pretty sweet stuff. Thank you, Mr. Huntrix, for sending this replay and showing me that Dark Magician is, uh, you know, they ain't so bad. You just got to have uh, a little bit, well, the guy kind of messed up with Doom Cow for sure, but uh, for the most part, it's a great little, like, rank 7 deck, I think, that uh, if everything gets nerfed, you know, and, you know, these guys stay around, or if these guys get better support, they can definitely be more viable in the future. But anyways, thanks, uh, Huntrix again, and thanks for watching, it's been Will Smith, signing out.